Welcome to episode 13 of Learning Fusion. In today's episode, we're going to cover importing and exporting media. So let's roll this intro and let's jump into it. We're learning fusion together. We'll learn 2D stuff and 3D stuff and particle stuff and compositing stuff, deep pixel stuff and tracking stuff, but not other stuff, but some other cool stuff. Because we're learning fusion together. So when I talk about importing and exporting media, into Fusion, that just basically means any type of uh, footage or image we're gonna be using within Fusion. Now, if we were to use a clip, and we covered creating clips in an earlier episode, but if we were to create a clip, whether we go to a new Fusion clip or just hit our little Fusion tab down here, it's automatically gonna import our media, and it's playing, and we're good to go. However, if we're creating a new Fusion composition with nothing in it and we go to fusion you can see it's just empty and we need to import our media now if we're using stuff just like our little background and we're doing text and we're just doing stuff within here to make graphics we really don't need to import any media it's just there and it works so if i input my text and i type in my text you can see it all just works fine but for other stuff like uh, footage and graphics and logos and different things you need to bring in, we actually need to import them. So one way to import is we can just go to our media pool and we can grab our footage, just drag and drop it right there into uh, Fusion. And we've got our media and uh, now our media is playing. Additionally, we can uh, just go to our file explorer and we can drag and drop media straight into fusion from there it doesn't need to be in our media pool now once we drag and drop it in there it is now going to be in our media pool automatically but now we've got our new footage and uh there we go it's playing and you can pretty much bring in any type of footage and i've never really had any issues with any type of footage within fusion it all works pretty good as long as the codecs work done correctly and you can bring in uh, b-raw log footage anything you want into uh, fusion now on top of our media nodes bringing in footage we can bring in still images or graphic images so if i go to my media pool and i grab our little logo here i can just drag and drop our logo and now I've got my little logo. Additionally, we can bring in layered uh, PSD files. So if I grab this logo, which is a PSD file, and I bring it in, you can see we've got our logo. And if I go up here to our little layers, you can see it's broke down to our layers. So we've got our merged. I've got my little background, my little headphones, and all my individual text I have. Now, another way to bring in PSD files is if we go up here to this Fusion page and we select Import and select PSD, we can bring in a PSD file, but it's gonna break it down separately. It's not gonna be in one nice little package with our layers separated. It's going to separate all of our layers and add merges. Even though they're called normals, these are actually merge nodes. So if we look up, see, merge node, these are all merge nodes. So if we look at our final one, we've got our logo with individual layers mixed in with merge nodes. Or like I said, we can just drag and drop and have our layers independently within one single little node. Now, additionally, we can use a loader node to load footage, but within DaVinci Resolve Fusion, the only thing we can load with a loader node is EXR files. So unlike the studio version where the loader node is used to uh, load all of our media or anything we want, the loader node within the DaVinci Resolve Fusion version will only load EXRs. So shift space, loader node, we can add a loader node. Let's go find an EXR here somewhere. If I load my little EXR, there we go, we've got our EXR. And if it was a multi-layer EXR, we'd have our multiple layers there. And just remember, when you go uh, load your little EXRs, make sure you go over to Format and uh, load the channels you have correctly. 
Now for all of these, for the loader node and everything, I do a node breakdown. So I'll be sure to put all these in the description so you can learn how to work with all this stuff with these individual channels. Additionally, one of the episodes we're going to be going over is going to be specifically about using different layers in covering our channels on EXRs. So we will go over these. But that is our loader node. And I'm just going to uh, rename this to loader so we remember it is a loader node. If we need to import any type of 3D scenes, we have multiple loaders for that. So if I hit shift space, U loader, we're gonna bring up the USD loader. So if I add that, we can go find a USD file and bring it in. And that's only for importing USD scenes. Now, if I need to bring in an anemic mesh from another 3D program like Blender or Maya or anything, I can use an Alembic Mesh 3D. And if I add this, we're gonna be able to bring in an Alembic Mesh. And if I need to bring in an FBX, an OBJ, a 3DS, a DAE, or a DXF scene file, I can with the FBX Mesh 3D. So shift space FBX Mesh 3D. So if I do, I'm going to be able to select a FBX Mesh 3D or OBJ or those other files, and uh, I can import them with that. And again, I did specific node breakdowns on all these, so uh, you get in-depth breakdowns on how to use these nodes in those node breakdowns. Now, additionally, up top, we can uh, select Import Alembic Scene, so we can import an Alembic Scene here, as well as an FBX. BX scene, just know when we use this import, just like our little PSD, it's going to break it down to individual little files or individual separate nodes. And we'll cover these when we go over our 3D stuff. Additionally, we can bring in shapes. So if we're using any shapes or we created any roto shapes and programs like Nuke, we can uh, import those here. We can import SVGs. And we can import any tracks. So if we did tracks and say the Fusion standalone, we can export those tracks and then we can import them into uh, DaVinci Resolve Fusion using this tracks import. So these are the ways to import media. We've got our, uh, our footage we imported. We've got our uh, little logos we imported. And to import EXRs only, we use the loader node. To import uh, USD scenes, we used a U loader. To import Alembic meshes, whether it's scenes or individual models, we use the Alembic Mesh 3D. And to import FBX models or scenes, as well as OBJ and DEA files, we'll use the FBX Mesh 3D. And as far as outputs, our primary output is our media out. And this technically isn't an exporter, but if you remember, if we go to our edit page, we're not seeing anything on our composition here. And this is what the media out node is for. And it's the only purpose of the media out. So if we input that media out and we go back to the edit page, now we can see it. So the sole purpose of this media out is to push that data from fusion back into our cut edit and our color page. Additionally, we have a saver node. So shift space, saver node, and the saver node is used to export EXR files. And within the Fusion standalone, we can export all kinds of formats, but with DaVinci Resolve Fusion, we can only export EXR files. And this saver node can go anywhere. You can plug it in there. You can plug it in after your uh, little media out. So to export your EXR files, once you have a saver node, and we go up to this little Fusion page up here, we have render all savers, and it's gonna render those savers. Additionally, if we want to export our USD scenes we were working on, we can hit shift space, U exporter. And this node is used to export our USD scenes. And if we want to export any of our FBX scenes or our 3D scenes in FBX format, we can hit shift space, FBX exporter. And we can use this node to export those 3D scenes. So again, we have our media ins, which is just for our footage, as well as images and still graphics. Our loader node is for EXRs only. Our U loader is for USD scenes. 
Our limbic mesh is for limbic mesh scenes in objects. Our FBX mesh is for FBX scenes and FBX models. As far as out, our media out is just to push that fusion data back into DaVinci Resolve. Our saver node is to export EXRs. Our U export is to uh, export USD scenes. And FBX export is to export FBX scenes and FBX models. And again, when we get into 3D, we will uh, cover most of these nodes more in depth. Additionally, there are node breakdowns already existing for these nodes. So I will see you in the next episode.